While Las Vegas survivors have reacted with fury after video clips appeared on YouTube calling the shooting a hoax, videos with various conspiracy theories have been watched by millions. Well, our technology correspondent Rory Catherine Jones is here in the studio with me. And uh, Rory, tell me more about these hoax videos and the response there has been from uh, the many families who've uh, heard about this. Well, it's not a surprise when a any kind of incident like this happens, YouTube actually becomes a huge platform for all sorts of conspiracy theorists. 9-11, uh, uh, there are tons of conspiracy theory videos up there, and very quickly on this occasion, uh, a similar thing happened. Uh, the, the kind of conspiracy theories being promoted were false flag. Uh, the idea that uh, the whole thing was staged by the government in some extraordinary way. You know, 22,000 actors were hired to, to fake this. Uh, and if you look through the comments on some of these videos, it's obvious that quite a lot of people believe this. I think, though, what's really concerning is not that these videos exist, that's uh, disturbing enough, but that in some cases they appear to be promoted by Google, by YouTube sort of algorithms that the, you put in a search for information about this event and up at the top comes not the real news but the fake news. I'll come to the response from the authorities in a moment or two but in terms of the response from the families, what has been said? Well, they've, uh, it's completely obvious how distressing it is if you've been caught up in an incident like this. They said, we know what the truth is, we were affected, <laughs> we've had loved ones shot. Uh, and and uh, it's a disgrace that, that YouTube is not doing something about this. They want these videos actually taken down. Uh, so tell me more then about uh, the response there has been from YouTube. What have they said? Well, it's a quite a bland response. We've got a little statement from them uh, which says, uh, when it comes to news, uh, we have thousands of news publishers that present a variety of viewpoints available on our news channel. They're basically saying that um, it, it's not up to them to censor. Uh, they're going on to confirm that. Uh, we've got a, a separate message saying none of the videos reported to us breached our guidelines. And here's the issue. Um, uh, Google, YouTube, other web publishers feel that it's not for them to actually uh, determine what sort of quotes, news content we receive um, and um, to act as a kind of censor. But what a lot of people are asking is, is it their responsibility to decide what is promoted? Well, exactly. I mean, you mentioned other platforms because this is something not just that affects YouTube. Uh, other platforms have been grappling with exactly the same issue and controversies, haven't oh, they? Oh, yeah. This is an issue that we've seen explode over the last year, particularly in relation to last year's US presidential elections. Facebook, uh, under the spotlight this week, uh, in the early stages, amongst the trending stories popping up on Facebook, were posts from 4chan, kind of notorious uh, forum for people with uh, with very extreme views, uh, uh, top stories giving inaccurate information about who was involved in this incident and what their motivations were. Um, and, and Facebook and Google alike basically blaming their algorithm, saying, difficult for us, we, you know, it, it, it's the computer has decided this. Although we have heard from Google today that uh, they have been tweaking their algorithms to, to, to try and deal with this issue. Uh, well, uh, Rory, thanks very much. And actually, when you read someone say, when I see my wife fighting for her life with gunshot wounds to her chest and my daughter also shot, it is pretty conclusive evidence that it did happen. You can see <laughs> the distress that some of these uh, hoax Absolutely. videos have absolutely and we've seen it before, the, the Sandy Hook incident, the, those children killed, uh, being, those parents being told online that this didn't happen. You can see how offensive it is. Rory, thanks very much. for.